Hey guys, it's Holly coming to you with another haul video today. I've spent the morning unpacking two giant boxes, so get yourself a cup of coffee and let's go see what's new. Okay, so let's start with some of the finished fashion pieces we've got. We've got one left. We've had some ladies shop in our table already. Of uh, this Tiger's Eye and non-tarnished metal necklace. We've got several white. This fuchsia color is brand new, and this light pink is brand new, and some of these like off-white colors are brand new. These are gonna be really good for fall. They're super long, six foot necklaces, and you can see they are loop and wrapped, or just looped actually, um, with silver findings in them, good fall colors. This bead is actually glass. It's got like an AB finish. It's kind of got like a rainbowy blue color. These are five foot strands, and all of these are all $12. So again, this is an excellent deal. Even if you just want to cut it up and use the beads, they're really pretty. Also, we've got these new rainbow beads. I don't know if you can see them. I'm hoping it shows up on the screen, but it's a Lampart bead and it's got like a, an Aurora finish on the inside and a, like a bluish silver foil that's reflecting. So it's really, really gorgeous. It gives off a good glow. Um, we've got tons and tons and tons of pearls because winter's coming and anything snowman or snow themed, especially our kits is gonna have lots of pearls in it. We have these brand new little metal bars. We had them before in like a gold plate, but these are pewter, so it's gonna bring your cost down quite a lot. Um, these little guys are two inch bars. These are one inch bars that can kind of give you an idea of what size you're working with. And we're actually gonna use that for one of our make and take projects. And we're gonna make, not the chandelier ones, but we're gonna make the little gold um, bars where you wire up a pearl. And all you're gonna do is take a piece of 26 gauge wire, wrap around a few times, put the pearl on, wrap around a few more times, and it's just a really pretty finished piece. I do have a few of the more fashion forward options for you. These jersey pieces um, have been gold foiled with a real amethyst point sticking up out of them, and I believe they are $16. And if you're one of the ones ordering online or over the phone, this is gonna be number one, this is gonna be number two, and this is gonna be number three. And let's see if we can get the color to show up a little bit more on this if we go closer to the window. Like, look how gorgeous these are. Really, really pretty. Excellent quality. Very cute. Good mounting. Your stone's not going to come out. Great for fall. We've got some metallic crystals that are going to go great with any of this fall stuff. The gold foiled arrowheads. And you can see there is rose gold and regular gold plate, rose gold, regular gold plate. This is all that we have, so if you decide you want one of these, let us know soon. Um, also, we have these new Chinese crystal little hearts, and I'm hoping you can see how great this color is. It's that red magma color, really pretty. And this is all we have of these. We are selling them by the piece, so give us a call and let us know how many you'd like. Um, these Chinese crystal cubes are also in that red magma color. Very pretty, selling those by the piece. We've got a ton of those, so don't worry about those. You can get those anytime. Um, these are really awesome. They are little coins. It's probably about the size of a nickel. Um, it's double-sided. It's got this kind of like nature pattern just embossed in it. It's very textured. Haven't decided what we're gonna do with these, but if you have any ideas, let us know, because they're really awesome, and I can't wait to make something with them. Um, several different charms. These little puzzle pieces are really good if you've got anybody um, doing like friendship bracelets or friendship necklaces for Christmas presents. Um, they're good for autism awareness. If you want to do like, you're the missing piece of my heart, that kind of thing for Christmas. Very cute. Um, filigree beads. These are gorgeous. They are a little bit on the chunkier side, but they've been very popular. We had them in the past about two years ago and I finally found them again. Very cute. They won't last long. These are brand new. It's like a little gold filigree ball. It almost looks like a bell or something. But it's just really pretty little detail. Good spacers. This will be fun to put in some things. All right, and if you know anybody who does any hunting or anything this fall season, we have these really, really adorable little bullet charms. And we've got some camo colored agate. That'd be a really, really cute charm bracelet. Just hang a ton of stuff off the bracelet. and. Go for it. You can even put some of those um, deer charms on there if you wanted to. We also have the silver antlers. These are kind of, they can be earrings, but they're also kind of pendant size. That's probably about a two inch piece. Um, but we had those in copper before. We have them in silver now. These new pendants, 
probably good for a pendant size. They're brand new. We just got them. They're super cute. It says, I love you to the moon and back. This is really popular right now. It is double-sided, so when their necklace turns, it will still look good. Um, we are going to use this for one of our make and take projects for next month, um, but if you just can't wait, we have put the charms out already, so you're welcome to come get them now. Um, but I'm thinking long necklace with a couple of little purple-blue crystals, maybe a little heart or something. I don't know. It's going to be really cute, though, because these are very trendy. Um, oh, these guys are so cute. Okay. I don't know if you can see this. They're little puppies. And he stands up. Well, until you knock it over. They're just so cute. They have a little face. Their little tail. They're just really, really cute. Excellent 3D little puppy charms. We've got lots of those. Um, these are pretty cool. This is going to be um, one of our projects at our um, elf workshop that we're doing this year. It's, it says stylist. It's kind of large, you can see. Um, it's going to be good for a necklace and we're going to embellish with crystals and just make little necklaces or key fobs that you can give to your hairstylist as part of their Christmas tip. We've got these brand new, um, they are glass. It's a rondelle shape slightly, but it's not faceted. So it looks like a round, but it's a little bit shorter and it's kind of a gold champagne color and it's got that pearlized finish on it. Very pretty. And these strands are long. I want to say they are... What is that? Maybe two feet almost, not quite. Um, and then these bicones, excellent, like metallic copper, perfect with anything fall. We've got a couple of really, just really pretty fall color crystals. These are 10 millimeter faceted rounds. Um, got a couple strands of each of those, and we're gonna come back to the other fall crystals we have in just a second. So we also got in a bunch of these new little lockets. We've had them before for the oil diffuser necklaces, but we're gonna be making Christmas ornaments out of them this year. And basically you take a piece of felt and put in um, like a winter scent or like an evergreen scent, um, and you use the essential oils and just put a dab of it on the felt. And then you'll put your ornament that will use a little decorative wire and crystal and stuff on the top, and you're gonna put that in your tree and it makes your tree smell like a real tree. Or you can do like cinnamon or citrus, whatever you like to do. Those are going to be really fun, and that's a new project you can look out for. All right, so I've got some more crystal I'm going to go through for you guys. This is um, kind of the fall-themed stuff. We've got, this is almost, this first one's like an opalite color with um, a gold, almost orange tint to it, and it's only on one side, so it's going to look like a really pretty two-tone bead. This um, silver-lined one, we had it before in like a green color and a light topaz color, this is a lot darker, more like a molasses. It's very rich brown, um, and it does have that silver lining on one side, so it'll give that good two-tone effect. Okay, so this orange is like a really good, almost like a pumpkin orange, and it's got the AB finish on it. It's a really, really rich color. Um, this green is kind of like an olive with a purplish tint to it. And then we've got the smaller green. Um, it's that olive again, but this is a silver line. So it's silver on half of the bead again. So you're gonna get that two-tone. This, you can see how much it sparkles. Um, it's a transparent, mostly green. It's got a little bit of pinky, coral, kind of orangey yellow. It's gonna pull a lot of different colors. So it will look different depending on what you put it with. But it is, it's got the ultra faceted and it's a really sparkly bead. This one, apparently we only got one of them, but it's one of my favorite colors out of this haul. Um, it's like a, a olive with a little bit of brown or topaz tint to it. It's really pretty. It's kind of pulling some greens and purples a little bit. Um, it would look really good with those camo beads we showed earlier in the video. Um, okay, so do you guys remember when grayish was a color when they brought that out and that was one of the big ones? That's kind of what this color is. It's like a green gray. I don't know. It's really interesting. It just looks like a good color that would match a lot of clothing. Um, we've got the metallics, we've got the dark, dark copper, we've got that red magma bead. This is really popular, it's been hard to keep in stock. And it's now in a six millimeter round as well. This is a little bit brighter than the previous orange that I showed you. It's a little bit more like a Halloween orange. Um, we've got the metallic gold, the topaz, and that pearlized AB finish. We did get some more of these big chunky rondelles. They sold out really quickly. The two-tone, um, this is kind of like a brown copper and like a slate gray on the inside. And then they now have it in the gold with the slate gray on the inside, so that's two-tone as well. Um, these little metallic guys, I don't know if you can see the finish. This is a little different. 
Um, it's like a band of gold around the border on the edge, but not on the top and the bottom. And they do that one in the silver as well. So you're just getting that one band around the edge. Lots of different silvers. This first one is a two-tone. It's got that um, transparent slate in there. This is an eight millimeter round. I did show you a larger one earlier. I believe it was either a 10 or a 12. So we got a couple of different sizes in that. This is just a solid silver rondelle that's gonna bring a lot of bling to some of your holiday jewelry you're making. This is a really pretty like slate gray crystal. And then check out all the clear and white. We have plenty. Um, so yeah, clear AB rondelles. You can see this one is a little bit different. Okay, this one on the left is the traditional AB coating. It's gonna, you can see those pinks and purples um, in that. And then see these over here, it's more of like a white crystal. It looks a lot sharper and a lot nicer. It just looks like a better quality. It makes your piece look richer and just a little more expensive than the traditional like colorful A, B, I think. So I love putting that. And then they've got the same, it's that white finish. You can see where the light's hitting it. It's got, um, it has a coating on it, but it's not the traditional multicolor A, B. You can see the difference between this one that does have it, these six millimeters, and this eight millimeter that doesn't have it. It's a lot more, I don't know, just, it's more transparent. It's more matte. It blends in a little bit. Um, so you can just see the difference between how sparkly it is here and how just plain clear it is here. So that's the difference between the satin coating and these two. Let me back up so you can see it all. So we've got the AB, that white finish. This is a different white finish. And then this is the plain. So you can see they're totally different. So lots of choices. These are eight millimeter rounds. They're still very, very pretty. They go good with little snowmans. Um, these are super cute. I love them for building snowmen. They are just a pearlized white and it's kind of like the glass pearls that we use, but it's the ultra faceted. They make really cute snowmans. And then white AB crystal, good for everything winter. So now we're moving into blues. This is actually a brand new color they just came out with. I don't even know what I would describe this as. It's not like a periwinkle, but it's a very light sky blue, I guess. I don't, it's almost like a faded denim. Um, it's a really pretty, rich, just opaque color. I like it. And they did make um, a similar six millimeter round. It's a little bit more on the blue side. Um, you can kind of see that first one's a little bit more of a gray blue. And that second one's a little bit more of a bright blue. Um, we've got a couple different um, blues with the AB coatings. And you can see, again, that um, right here is that white coating. And then this one is that traditional AB coating. So you can see the difference between that satin finish that they've got and the AB. It just, it's a totally different sparkle. Here's kind of an overview of everything so you can see that a little bit better, hopefully. All right, moving on to some of our Christmas stuff. We do have um, this front one here is called a Chinese wedding bead. This is a 10 millimeter round and it does have a little faceted rondelle between it. They give such a beautiful glow. I'm hoping you can see that, that it shows up on camera. But they're just really pretty. It goes with the matte stuff that's going on right now. They're really soft to feel. They'll go with lots of really good stuff for Christmas because they kind of have that snowy look. Um, this red color, it's looking a little bit dark. Let's see if you can see this actual color. It's a very bright cherry. It's the ultra faceted, so you can see how much more facets there are. They kind of look like a disco ball, and they show up really, really well in their finished stuff. Same thing in this white that's a good like snow finish, and it's got the AB kind of uh, finish on it. It's that ultra faceted round again. And then we've got silver faceted rounds. Everything sparkly is good for Christmas. We do have some by the piece. Uh, we'll be filling this tray up some more, but this is what we've got right now. These are larger rondelles. You can kind of see the size there. Um, the pave beads. These are gorgeous. They make really cute little Santa tummies. If you're doing the beaded um, Santas or the beaded elves that we're going to be doing this year, we do have the kits for them. But if you just can't wait and you want to get started on yours now, that's fine too. Um, also, I ordered 30,000 pins and started bagging them yesterday. This is how far I've gotten. Um, they are mostly going to be used for our candle kits, which I will pop a few photos of up here. We're actually going to have 10 different candle kits for you to choose from this holiday season. Here's a few sneak peek photos so you can kind of get an idea of what we're going to be making. But if you'd like to make your own, you can always just come get some crystal and some pins and get started making something beautiful some new little angels. These are actually going to be on one of our angel candles as well. There's going to be a silver and white angel candle kit and a gold and white angel candle kit, so keep your eyes out for that. 
This little one on the top says season's greetings. You can't see it. All right, and here is a little bit of our green and red. Um, just showing you a little sampling of everything so you can get an idea. We do have plenty more of this stuff in the back, so let us know if you need anything. This first one is, it's actually a pillow coin is what they call it. You can see it's facet. It's kind of got like a floral facet look. It's very thick, um, which is the pillow. Um, and then it's shaped like a coin. It's an olive bean color with an AB. It's a really, really pretty, very rich color. Um, we've got kind of a light transparent green with AB rondelles. This is that classic Christmas green. It's, it's that ultra faceted, so you're going to see it a lot. It will go with all of your Christmas stuff that you're trying to do. That's a really good Christmas color. This is a little bit lighter if you're going more on the, um, not lime green, but the lighter version of green for Christmas. Um, and maybe like the candy themes, that would be really cute for that. This is a really, really pretty, um, what I call that, like a fern green almost, maybe not quite that dark. Um, it's got the pearlized finish on it. Um, that's a really, really pretty classic. That would look good with pearls. That would be really, really pretty. Maybe some metal spacers and caps and stuff. That would be gorgeous. This, um, we had this in our last haul video. It's a transparent, like a milky green, um, but it did sell out same day, so we didn't have very much of that, so we've got a little bit more. Um, another transparent green rondelle. This one's actually a little bit milky on the inside, so it gives it a really pretty finish. This, I couldn't decide if it was a Christmas color or not. It's kind of light. It's like a pastel green, but I think it could go, depending on what you put with it. Um, super dark green um, bicones, kind of got that metallic look. We've got a couple different uh, shades of multicolor. We saw this one in a smaller uh, rondelle earlier. This is a really pretty, it's kind of like a brighter green. It's got that metallic dark green, so it's going to go with a lot of different stuff and really kind of dress up your piece like a Christmas party piece, kind of. That would be really pretty for that. Um, some more of that super dark um, evergreen color. Sorry, my lighting is a little bit off today, doing the best we can, but there's lots of clouds outside today. Um, this is a really pretty, it's transparent, it's really got that candy look. We're going to be putting this in our red and white candy cane candle sample kit. Um, so you'll be seeing that, but that's a really, really pretty Christmas color. Lots of just the regular transparent red, AB red, some of that satin finish that we love, and some more transparent red. So um, again, this is just a little sampling, but that'll give you a rough idea of some of the stuff we unpacked today. And I hope you enjoyed getting to watch this haul video. If you like this type of video and want to see more, be sure to give us a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Also, let us know in the comments what kind of videos you want to see. And we'll do our best to make it happen. Have a great day.